In July 2021, Airbus announced that it would be offering a new purpose-built next-generation freighter in the form of the A350F. The offering stands out as the only freighter to have a composite airframe, an airframe that promises to offer more range, volume and payload than the popular 777F. With entry into service now delayed by a few months, the program has been slowly picking up orders. The jet is slightly behind its Boeing 777X rival in terms of sales, but still projected to enter service earlier. So what is the latest news concerning the Airbus A350F? Let's find out for today's video. Compared to rival aircraft manufacturer Boeing, Airbus has been somewhat weak in the realm of cargo aircraft. When it comes to factory-built freighters, the European plane maker's sales have been a small fraction compared to orders racked up by Boeing. Examining the numbers, CH Aviation notes that 74 A300B4Fs and 106 A300-600Fs were built, while it only delivered a few dozen A330-200Fs. This is nowhere near the almost 300 767-300Fs and over 300 777Fs sold by the American manufacturer. And then, of course, there's the iconic 747. Combining older and newer 747 freighter variants, there have also been about 300 airframes ordered by customers. Indeed, taking all of these figures into account, it's clear that Boeing has thus far dominated the purpose-built freighter market. Airbus's most recent freighter offering prior to the A350F, the A330-200F, was somewhat of a flop. Throughout the full lifespan of the program, just 38 airframes were ordered from eight different customers. Some postulate that the jet was heavier than ideal to fly short-haul missions, but at the same time failed to have sufficient range for long-haul flights. As one contributor on Airliners.net noted, it is slightly bigger than the 767, but much heavier and of course more expensive. Takes up as much ramp space as a 777F, but can barely fly across the Atlantic. So, will Airbus do better with its A350F? Judging solely by airframes ordered, the A350F is already doing better than the A330-200F. Data, current as of December 2023, shows that 50 A350Fs have been ordered from 10 different customers. Customer and order data is as follows. In November 2021, at the Dubai Air Show, Air Lease Corporation announced an order for seven airframes as part of a larger deal with Airbus. This would see the company become the launch customer for the type. Just days later, CMA CGM Group signed for four units. The following month, two more airlines signed on. Air France KLM placed an order for four airframes for Air France, while Singapore Airlines announced its intent to take seven units. In mid-February 2022, Etihad announced a letter of intent to purchase seven airframes. This was converted into a firm order in August of the same year. At the end of June 2022, Azerbaijan-based Silkway West Airlines signed a purchase agreement for two A350Fs. In January 2023, Air France KLM announced another A350F order, again for four airframes. These particular jets are set to join KLM Group member Martin Air Holland. And most recently, in December 2023, Turkish Airlines announced an order for five, while Cathay Pacific signed a purchase agreement for six. If you're doing the math, you'll notice that this doesn't quite add up to 50. That's because the other four airframes were ordered by a mystery customer. This secretive deal was first noticed in Airbus's March 2023 order data. While it looks like the A350F is already doing better than its A330 predecessor, it's still slightly behind Boeing, which appears to have picked up orders for 55 777-8Fs at the time of this video's production. Aside from order announcements, there were a few other pieces of news regarding the A350F over the course of the past year. Back in late 2022, Airbus announced that it would be holding a livery design competition for the A350F. The winner was then revealed in June 2023. 
During the big reveal at a special ceremony at the Paris Air Show, the winners were announced as John Fian and the brothers Quinton and Elliston Iverson. The reason for announcing two winners was that both designs were remarkably similar. One of the two winners, John Fian, is a graphic designer based in Dublin, Ireland. Fian shared that he had the idea to wrap the aircraft like a package to represent everyone who uses global air freight and gets packages shipped worldwide. The Irish graphic designer also took inspiration from the labels and symbols generally shown on such packages, including stickers with warnings like Handle with care, Do not bend, and Do not drop. On the other side of the Atlantic was the other winning group, two young brothers, Quinton and Elliston, hailing from Calgary, Canada. Similar to Fian's idea, the two brothers figured nothing could be more perfect than designing a packaging box for a freighter aircraft. They also incorporated logos commonly found on packages, such as barcodes and QR codes. While the livery contest had no material significance in terms of sales or developmental progress, it certainly did its job in keeping the A350F on the radar and in the media. A month before the Paris Air Show and the unveiling of the winning livery design, Airbus disclosed that it had pushed the A350F's entry to service back by a few months due to quote-unquote industrial planning adjustments. Thus, the entry into service was moved from the end of 2025 to early 2026. As reported by CH Aviation, Xavier Tardy, interim CFO of Airbus, stated, We're in the execution of the program. We're in the development phase. We are starting the initialization of the product, so we are constantly updating the planning, and what we've said today reflects a slight slippage of the overall planning. So, there's the latest news in terms of Airbus A350F developments. Considering the fact that the A350 is already in production and has proven to be a reliable platform for long-range commercial passenger service, Airbus hopefully won't experience too many issues bringing the freighter variant to market. In terms of future sales, the freighter market is much smaller than the market for passenger jets. Additionally, operators tend to keep their freighters for much longer and may also opt to convert passenger aircraft into freighters. This is something that can be seen with many types from both Airbus and Boeing. With all of this in mind, orders are likely to be few and far between, as has been the case over the past two and a half years. Despite these sales challenges, many cargo operators will be looking to replace their aging McDonnell Douglas MD-11Fs over the next decade. This is a factor that could indeed prove to help with sales of the A350F or 7788F. As reported by Air Cargo News, Jonathan McDonald of IBA Group notes that the sale of 150 to 200 units would mark a quote-unquote good return for the Airbus freighter derivative. What do you think of the current state of the A350F? How many airframes do you think Airbus will sell in 2024? Let us know by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.